This is week four of the Titan FC 40 video blog with Desmond Green, who's going to be taking on Frank Carrillo at Titan FC 40 on August 5th. Des, how's it going? Uh, it's going good, man. It's going good. Chilling right now. Just had a, uh, just had a nice dinner. Full had some macaroni, uh, baked chicken, mashed potatoes, corn, yeah, sweet potatoes. Had the whole nine. It was delicious. <laughs> Dude, I'm so jealous. That sounds delicious. Ah, oh, man, that's uh, that, that's awesome. Um, let, let's talk about uh, this last week. Uh, of course, uh, you know, last week, uh, you know, you and I were talking about uh, training and everything. Um, you, you were back in New York again. It seems like you've gone the last couple weekends. Um, you know, why'd you go back? What, what sort of uh, brought you there? And uh, when'd you get back uh, from New York? Yeah, so the first time I went to uh, my oldest daughter lives in the Bronx, and um, she was going away to this ten day um, all girls camp in Maine. So I went to see her off for the, uh, you know, the summer camp. And then this past weekend, I went to pick her up from the camp. And then she's going to be staying here with me for the rest of the summer. Well, until like the end of August, until she goes to Trinidad for uh, where her family, they always go there in the summer. But uh, so, yeah, it, it, I have been back and forth there a lot. So, uh, but yeah, I finally see it's nice to have her up here. And I got all three of my kids with me. Um, you know, they came to the gym. She, her, her and she, uh, my son love to watch me train and go to the daycare there. So. Yeah, it's been chilling. How much of a boost does that give you, having your whole family together and, you know, seeing them there and being able to, you know, see them watch you? And I know you always call them your legacies, which I think is awesome. Like, is it, is it must be pretty cool to have all of them there at once. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, it's like I, I got like a – this week I have like a real, real a lot of energy. You know, it's like a big push. You know, it's like the last two weeks um, my daughter's going to be at my fight. So, you know, all three of my kids are going to be there. So there's no way in how that I'm going to lose, first off. And my mom's going to be there, not to mention she's here with me. So, you know, right now I got my mom staying with me. I got all three of my kids. I got my girlfriend. So everything everything is great. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm training good. Um, my combos are coming along nice with the coaches. It's just like everything is good vibes right now. That's great, man. And I saw you guys watching uh, cartoons on the plane there. What what uh, What type of cartoons you were watching? Uh, what was he watching? I think, uh, I think, I think she's watching, um, Cartoon Network. Yeah, I forget which one, but, uh, yeah, we, you know, I love JetBlue, love flying. It's like, it's nice. My dad worked, so he worked for JetBlue and retired. So, uh, I get, I, me and my brother and sister, we fly, um, standby free for life. That's why I'm like always catching fights back and forth. And, you know, my kids, you know, he, he we usually get buddy passes from my dad or, you know, his uh, his new wife. So, um, you know, it's great. You know, we go JetBlue, we get to watch TV, fly, travel. So, yeah, it's pretty dope. And, and no flight delays this time, right? Because I remember last time you were stuck in New York. Yeah, yeah I got stuck. Yeah, they canceled the whole flight. I got stuck there. I felt bad. People were, like, complaining, like, oh, I got to get a hotel. Me, I'm just like, yeah, I'll go back to my mom. Just chilling out. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, I, you know, I guess because you were in New York, uh, did, did you have a chance to watch the UFC Chicago card this past weekend? Um, No, I didn't. I didn't. Um, but I caught updates uh, via Twitter. So, you know, I, I was definitely following, um, seeing, uh, you know, I, I keep an eye on that 155 weight class because, you know, in a couple of years, you know, in, in a year, they are going to fear me and know my name. So, you know, I'm just doing my homework, seeing as in Barboza, you know, I had a good fight, whooped up on Melendez. Not looking too good for him right now. No, it's it's kind of surprising, man. Like, you know, Melendez, when he came over from Strike Force, uh, you know, it seemed like he was going to, you know, take the title. He was, you know, he lost a pretty controversial decision. Now he's lost, what, three in a row now. So it, it's yeah. tough, man. It's 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 the toughest sport in the world. I still say this. So it's, uh, yeah, sure. it's you know, I, I, give, I give props to you guys for sure. Um, let's talk about training. Um, last time you and I spoke, you you know, were just getting back to Florida to go train. I saw you got it right off the plane. You went and did some training. What was last week all about? What did you guys kind of work on in training? Um, last week, you know, pretty much same thing. Uh, you know, a lot of in and out movement. Um, you know, just trying to stay sharp. Uh, you know, with this guy, uh, I see it in his videos, you know, when somebody attacks him, he likes to, you know, kind of go in, you know, for the hug and, you know, grapple, wrestle. Um, but you know, me, like my, my, my level of wrestling is very, very high. And, uh, you know, I see these things. So, you know, I'll definitely be prepared to, you know, be stepping back, striking and, uh, you know, really, Man, we're just really being efficient. And, uh, you know, me and my coaches feel like uh, this is a great fight for me. I could really, you know, finish this guy. What, uh, what about hard sparring? Like, does that is there a point when you guys stop doing that, like, close to fight time? Like, what sort of – how do you sort of uh, manage that? So, like, all right, it's totally individual. Like, I got guys on my team who won't spar a month before they fight. Some guys two weeks. Some guys they spar the week of. You know, uh, I, you can guess me. I spar the week of. You know, I'm a savage. I just, like – 
to me, sparring is the easiest practice. It's the hardest, but it's the easiest because you dictate where it's going to go. You know, even if I'm going with a guy that's better than me, if I move, you know, technically I'm not going to get hit. It's just going to help me, you know what I'm saying, move. If I'm going with a stronger guy, then I have to use my speed. If I'm going with a faster guy, then I got to use, you know what I mean, my footwork, you know, my power. So, you know, sparring, I think it's the most essential thing. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, if, I, if it's the week of, you know, we're good. My team is good like that. And I'll tell my partner, hey, listen, I fucking I fight Friday. So, you know, I, I want to spar, but, you know, obviously you know, don't, don't do anything that's going to hurt me. You know, just keep it up. You know, so obviously we work with each other. So, yeah, like for me, I, I spar all the way up until the week of, you know. Gotcha. Yeah, and I bring it up because uh, I know one of the things that uh, Eddie Alvarez, uh, people were criticizing him for, was he was talking about how he would do a lot of, you know, a lot of rounds even leading up to his fight. And everyone's like, oh, are you sure? And this and that. And of course, what does he do? He wins the title. So that, that's yeah. why I find it interesting to hear, uh, you know, kind of what, what strategy is. So so that's interesting. So right up until fight time for you is, is kind of, you know, you just want to feel comfortable and, and really sort of keep the momentum going up from the sparring is what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I want to switch gears a little bit here. Something we haven't talked about in these video blogs. Uh, you're a big hip hop guy. I know you, uh, you listen to a lot of music, and, and you know you're having it on your Snapchat and stuff. If I'm on your, if I'm looking on your phone right now, what am I gonna find on your playlist right now? Um, it's crazy. I, right now, so I just got a new phone, and uh, I, I just have a lot of stuff on my phone. Like, like uh, not a lot of stuff, but like all, all I listen to is rap. You know, a lot of different rappers. But like, I just got a new phone, so I'm only been like downloading stuff that I've really been listening to now. And uh, the only thing on my phone right now is uh, Future, uh, Drake, and Kodak Black. <laughs> you know, those three are, like, the only people I listen to right now. So, uh, but, you know, obviously, Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, my favorite. But right now, it's just, like, Future, Kodak Black, and uh, Drake. Nice. Rep in uh, Canada. Uh, Drake's from Toronto up here. Uh, it's, yo, uh, it's pretty crazy to see what he's done, man. It's, it's yo, insane. Drake's on fire, man. <laughs> Did you did uh, in the states? Did you guys ever get to Grassy High? Because he was on that show up here in Canada. Yeah, you know that? yeah. So I never personally seen it, but a couple of my friends, um, you know, they definitely used to see. It. I think it was on, like on MTV. But growing up, you know what I mean. We didn't, I didn't have cable, you know, so like it, it, it was on cable in the states for sure. But you know what I mean? I wasn't catching it. I have gay movies, basic TV. <laughs> it's funny, man. Like, I literally, I, I remember when, like, Drake just first started getting hot. And then uh, people were talking about, uh, you know, this and that. And I saw a picture of him. And I was like, man, that guy looks familiar. And I, I didn't watch the show really much. But I do kind of, for some reason, remember him from that show. Because he, he was in a wheelchair. So, uh, on, on the yeah, show anyway. Yeah, so, uh, so, so now, does, I mean, to see what he's become, it's, it's pretty amazing. So, and, and obviously, you know, in Canada, we're, you know the music scene's uh, definitely gotten a lot better than, than when I was growing up. So it's, it's cool to see him uh, having so much success. Um, on that same note, have you picked out your entrance music yet for this fight? Um, yeah, you know what? It's funny. I was just in the car with, uh, me and Michael Johnson went to go, um, get some sport, uh, sports massage after practice today. And, uh, we was talking about what we want to come out to. And, uh, I think, I think I'm, I think I'm coming out to, uh, to, to Tupac, hit him up. I think I think that's nice. what I'm about to Yeah. Of course, I got to get edited because, you know, I start off with, that's what joke, you fat mother. But, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. but that song gets me so, yo, that's, man, I hear that song, I'm ready to kill something. Yeah, uh, Tupac's, Tupac's great, man. Like, it's, you know, and, and it's funny because, like, no one sounds like him. You know, like, you can go yeah. back in time and, like, um, find rappers. Like, n- nobody sounds like Tupac does. It's, yeah, it's and even today, you know what I mean? Even, even the songs they play today and still... You know what I mean? It's relevant. The stuff you're talking about, it's uh, it's deep. Uh, fuck with pop. Yeah, man, and you know, like like you said, a lot of political stuff in there too, which is you know, you don't see too much of that these days. It's more you know, kind of the genre and stuff's a little bit different. But uh, Tupac still holds his own, man. So great choice. I, I got to give you props for that one. Um, any idea who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, yeah. Um, some hype. Uh, you know, my main man Henry Who. Um, he's going to be there. Um, Evan and Michael Johnson. So uh. You know, those are going to be my three corners. Can't beat that, you know? We haven't talked about it yet, but I got to get it here because it's the last blog we're going to be doing. I got to get an official prediction for this fight, August 5th. How do you see this fight ending? Um, I see ending in the finish. Um, I'm, I'm going, I want a first round finish, but my coaches are telling me, like, you know, just relax with this. The finish will come if I fight and uh, they like, you're looking so sharp. We don't want you to go out there and, you know, get over aggressive. Just relax. But uh, I really, I really. I really want to show my skills and you know what I mean? Like I got two wins in a row at 55. I want to show people like this is a new and improved Desi. Like at 145, I was just like a shell of myself. I was so sucked out and hurt from the weight cut. You know what I mean? I couldn't really perform how I really do. So, uh, you know, I just want to keep this ball rolling and, uh, you know, be dominant, you know, make a statement, 
try to get into the UFC before his year ends. Yeah, and I think it's possible, man. You're right on the cusp, and you know Titan FC getting on that fight pass uh, thing there. It's uh, it's really good exposure. So uh, I'm certainly looking forward to it. I know everyone else is. Man, this was fun. I'm really glad we got to do these video vlogs, man. This is this is the last one. Like I said, I'm going to be on vacation next week, unfortunately, so we can't do another one. But uh, Des, appreciate you taking the time. Um, just you know, remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you got any thank yous, any shout outs, anything like that, man. The floor is yours. Yeah, uh, you know, Instagram, Twitter, same name. Uh, Predator Tune, P R E D A T O R Tune, T O O N. Um, you know, Facebook Tune Winning, T O O N Winning without the G. And then also my fan page is uh Desmond the Predator Green. And then uh, you know, um, big shout out to my gym man. You know, my teammates. You know, those guys. They know who they are. You know, it's no need to name them, but we work every day, and uh, you know, we make each other better. You know, shout out to my teammate, Kush. He just won, uh, you know, the other night in Chicago. Uh, you know, man, we just, our team is on the ball, you know. So, shout out, big shout out to the team. Big shout out to my manager, family. And uh, tune in August 5th. You know, got Fight Pass. You better get it.